the prophet that prophesied a thing and it happened the next day. The prophet, who many people around the world are testifying of prophetic anointing upon his life. The prophet that miracles, signs and wonders are following his ministration. Prophet Austin Moses of Divine Ministries International Solution Center coldly invites you to come and be part of the new thing that God is doing in the north of London. Your time has come, so come and experience the power of God in Divine Ministries International Solution Center days and time of worship every Sunday from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Church address, the Green Primary School Hall, Somerset Road, Tottenham, London N17 9EJ, not far from Tottenham Police Station. Information online, plus 44-7415-696-042. That's plus 44-7415-696-042. Visit our website at www.divineministriesinternational.org for all the latest information, books, DVDs, CDs, and all other Christian literatures. Your time has come, so come and experience the power of God in Divine Ministries International Solution Center. It's time for the soul to sit. No man can stop the soul of sin. When it is time for the poor to shine, no man can stop the poor from shining. This is your time to shine. This is your time. This is your sin. I believe it's better for us to hear from the mouth of uh, Pastor Sunday Adelaja. So just sit back, I shall be sitting, and enjoy this video clip. And I believe that it's going to really bless you. So you will know that what the prophet has been saying, they are not stories that won't just speak from somewhere. They are true life story. Pastor Sunday Adelaja, the pastor of the largest Pentecostal church in Europe, testify to the anointing of God upon my life. Take a look at this video clip. We'll be right back. Hallelujah. He wrote to me last uh, summer. Он написал мне прошлом месяце, прошлом летом. That he has a word for me that is a prophet of God, and God showed him to me, and that he should give a message to me, but not by email. He wanted to come to deliver the message in person. Он написал мне, что он пророк Божий, что у него есть послание от Бога для меня, но что он не хочет написать мне его просто в письме, а хочет увидеться со мной лично и передать. I said, oh, this is one of the Ghanaian prophets, my God. И я сказал себе, о, опять эти пророки. Ghanaian. Да, ганийские из Ганы пророки. In America, when you go to the website and it, you know, it says, "Beware of Ghanaian prophets." Потому что в Америке есть один христианский сайт, где написано: "Берегитесь пророков из Ганы." So even when I was talking to him, for, I said, "Oh, you are from Ghana." It, it, so when he began to speak my tongue, my dialect, I said, "Oh, how do you know my language?" И когда мы разговаривали, я спросил: "О, так ты? Я чувствую, что ты из Ганы." Он начал говорить на моем диалекте. Я вас спросил, пастор спросил, откуда ты знаешь мой язык? Чтобы короче сказать. Он приехал и передал мне это слово. Вы не можете себе представить. Я не мог себе представить. Он сказал. Первое слово. Потому что в принципе я не отнесся к этому. Он написал мне в июне в прошлом году в июне, и я просто отложил письмо. Но когда начался этот кризис, спасибо Богу за проблемы. So I said, "Oh, but there is this guy who said he's a prophet. Let me come and hear what he said." What? Я вспомнил, вот так 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 там был этот пророк, который об этом писал. Надо надо его пригласить, чтобы он сказал. Then he told me, "I saw a division." 
И тогда он сказал, что я видел видение от division, разделение. Some people are falling away from you and accusing you and just everything we were going through. I said, why didn't I call him on time? Bro? Он сказал, он сказал, я увидел, как некоторые отпадают вообще от тебя, а другие наоборот остаются с тобой. И я подумал, Боже, почему я тогда не обратил на это внимание? You know, that was my first encounter with him. Это было первое впечатление. But we are still not met. Just wrote to me. So, он просто написал мне. Мы не встречались. Then, you remember, you church members know, on the second of January, when the police came to my house to conduct a search and everything. И вы, вы церковь помните, когда 2 января ко мне ворвалась, ворвались вооруженные милиционеры и делали обыск в моем доме. Take my passport. Забрали паспорт. You know that. A day before then, I just got a text message from him. За день до этого я получил сообщение на телефон от него. Pastor Sunday, don't be afraid, but I see your passport being taken and you being limited. And on the next day, it happened. I said, Where is this man coming from? Там было написано, что Pastor Sunday, вы не бойтесь, но завтра на вас будет налет и у вас заберут паспорт, но все будет нормально. Я думаю, ничего себе. So, I know that I, with all respect to all Ghanaian brothers, they have the gift too, but I think they have some problems from Nigeria as well. Я знаю, что не уважают особо пророков из Ганны. Да, есть там проблемы, но у нигерийских пророков тоже есть проблемы бывают. So when what he is saying, I take it very serious. Поэтому, когда этот человек, пророк Моисей, он говорит что-то, я уже серьезно слушаю то, что он говорит. Very serious. Очень серьезно. So church, I want you to take it very serious. Поэтому церковь, я хочу, чтобы вы отнеслись к этому очень серьезно. Viewers at home, that was a powerful, powerful testimony coming from Pastor Sunday Adelaja. My God, we have a voice, the voice of prophet in this house. You know what? Last year I was preaching at the World Mission Conference in Nigeria. And we were talking prophesy to the nation. That was the topic I was giving. And it got to a stage. I said, Where are the prophets in the land? We are here. America is spending money to look for Saddam. They are spending money to look for, for Bin Laden. But where are the prophets to speak? <laughs> and I'm, I bless God. I finally, I found a prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's so, it's so, it's so, that was so powerful. I, I feel, I feel animated within myself. Now, prophet, what are the, the, the things that the Lord Eh, are doing through your church. I want viewers at home to know that you are not just one of those prophets that said, "Does say the Lord," and there's no no answer. I know you've given us some testimonies, but what are, what what is happening in your church? Wow, there are many things happening in my church, but I will just mention a few of them because of the time. Yes, sir. Um, the first first and foremost, I do not consider the sources of a man or a woman in ministry based on the number of people he or she is able to gather together in a room on a particular service day to minister to. Hmm. That is not the success in ministry. Mm -hmm. That's what God told me. That is not the success in ministry. So if you're out there and you are wondering, oh, I have few members, and then you are, you are, you are getting discouraged, there's still hope for you. Hallelujah. There's still hope for you. Hallelujah. So, um, like I said earlier, there are many things that the Lord is doing. Um, we have a lady in our ministry at the moment. Late 2008, the doc her doctor told her that she was going to die because uh, she had cancer, that uh, she is not going to survive to the end of 2008. She came to me and, my God, the maker of heaven and earth said to tell her that she will not die, but she will live. Amen. I told her, Madam, you know what? The Lord said you will not die, you will live. Guess what? The lady is still in that church. Praise God. The lady, <laughs> when she came, all her hair gone, but now her hair, they're back by the power of prayer. In our ministry, the Lord have healed a woman with issue of blood for three months. Wow. Non-stop, three months, issue of blood, non-stop for three months, the Lord have healed a woman of blood. I remember there was a time that, 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 that when I, I was called upon to, 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 pray, to pray for a, a young guy in a hospital because the doctor have told the mom that your son have got only 20% chance of surviving. Mm -hmm. The remaining 80% chance, just go and start preparing for the worst. Wow. And again, even if your son managed to come back to life, 
he's going to be on the wheelchair because according to them, he had meningitis and he has affected uh, a part really? of, of his brain. I was invited to come and pray. I went to the hospital, I prayed, I ministered. Then the mom asked me, what did the Lord say? I said, my Lord said that your son will come back to life. Amen. And even after that, he's not going to be on a wheelchair. Amen. He will walk again by himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I went to Austria to preach. Hallelujah. The third day I came back, I called. They told me that the following day, the boy who was on the life support machine, mm -hmm. the following day, the following day after the prayer, the boy got up and went to the bathroom <laughs> to have his bath by himself. Amen. Hallelujah. And the nurse who, who, who did that shift mm. that day, when she came back the following evening, he met the boy sitting on top of his bed eating by himself. Wow. The nurse from the entrance of the of the wall dropped her bag and shouted, Praise the Lord. Lord. She told me maybe she was in the church <laughs> because she was carried away. <laughs> now listen. Now the doctor who had told the mother that your son had got only 20% chance to survive. Now told the mother and said, Now I believe there is God. Amen. This is a miracle. That is testimony. Up, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, with all the years of my practice, I've never seen this. Before, so this can only be God. Now I know that there is God. And to you watching me, your situation will be a source of evangelism of the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter what you are going through, God will turn it around Amen. and there will be testimony out of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, viewers, because of our time, Prophet Moses is not just a prophet. Or a pastor. He has some other talent. In fact, he's just written a book. I will allow him to talk to us about the book. Prophet, tell us about the book. There's still hope for you. Yeah, this is my first book, and the second one is on the way. Hallelujah. There is still hope for you. If you are going through any challenge in your life, I would like to encourage you to have a copy of this book. This book is going to really, really challenge. It's going to really, really encourage you. There are many people who have read this book. And as a result, they came to see me. A pastor yeah. read the book. Someone gave him the book because we went through mm -hmm. some challenges in London here. He rang me. He came to see me. He told me that I was depressed. I was in a, a state of depression. But when I saw this book, I, get, I got hold of this book. I've read this book five times over and over. Wow. That this book has become my second, second Bible. Amen. A pastor rang me from Sri Lanka three days ago. He used to live here. He bought this book. When he got to city alone, he read the book. He told me with all the challenges that I was going through when I got to city alone. Mm -hmm. After reading this book, I'm encouraged. Praise God. So I encourage you to get a copy of this book. Believe me, this book is going to help you a lot. And as you get this book, transformation will take place Amen. in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And again, I write script for movie. I, I'm also a film actor, but Christian, Christian movie, Christian movie, Christian movie. Oh my God. And I'm working currently on setting up uh, an outfit that will be producing and promoting uh, gospel films and then uh, gospel music because I also have passion for that. But I want to use it for God to advance the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 The prophet that prophesied a thing and he happened the next day. The prophet who many people around the world are testifying of prophetic anointing upon his life. The prophet that miracles, signs and wonders are following his ministration. Prophet Austin Moses of Divine Ministries International Solution Center coldly invites you to come and be part of the new thing that God is doing in the north of London. Your time has come, so come and experience the power of God in Divine Ministries International Solution Center days and time of worship every Sunday from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Church address The Green Primary School Hall Somerset Road Tottenham London N17 9EJ Not far from Tottenham Police Station Information online Plus 44 7415 696 042 That's plus 44 7415 696 042 Visit our website at www.divineministriesinternational.org For all the latest information Books, DVDs, CDs 
and all other Christian literatures. Your time has come, so come and experience the power of God in Divine Ministries International Solution Center. Amen. When you came to our church, I remember I bought over 12 copies I remember, of yeah, that book. Well, Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. before we go, yeah, we're talking about testimonies. Yes, sir. I've been starting your church. Yes, sir. I'm holding you here now. Uh -huh. The camera is rolling. <laughs> Tell the viewers oh, what happened because you shared some testimony with me Hallelujah. a few days ago. Yes. Share it with when, when, during one of our yearly program, it's called Seven Glorious Sundays. Prophet was among those that minister, and when he came to the church, he said, "The Lord is giving us media ministry. This is it. Oh, yes. This is it. We've never ever thought about it before. But you do know what? Immediately after that, this month alone, the month of September was the first month that." I did a live interview with Reverend Amosum on a, on a Faith TV, and it was it was so awesome. And here is another one. And now we are writing synopses, looking for sponsors, so that Glow Glim, which is Global International Ministries, the purpose of this ministry is to go into various churches and help ministry, not church for preaching, but ministry. Like we have the voice of prophet. That is a ministry, not the church. So th that is what it is all about. There are many testimonies. He spoke about the church. We have the first wedding. We have been pastoring for about nine years. We've never had a wedding. And this year we are having a wedding. It was just two weeks after the prophecy came that all those things start filling in place. Hallelujah. Amen. How many more do you want me to tell you? But because of our time, let's quickly go back to the interview. Prophet, on the 17th of this month, yes. during our research, we were told that you've been praying to God for something. Oh, yes. But the answer came. Do you want to share it with the viewers? Yeah, I'm not to encourage someone. Mm -hmm. In 2009, I went to see one of uh, the leading Pentecostal church, churches pastor, leading Pentecostal churches pastor in London here. And uh, while I was with him, he said to me, God said to tell you that he has not called you to be counting pennies wow. in the ministry. Mm -hmm. God said to tell you, your present financial state in the ministry is not what he had designed for you. Mm. God said to tell you that you carry the anointing to make wet. I look at myself, and he said to me again, God said to tell you that prophets like you are hard to come by. I'm not praising myself. Mm -hmm. Those are the words that he said. Then I look at myself, you carry the anointing to make wet. I don't believe in selling prophecy. I've never sold prophecy, and I've never said prophecy. How? Okay. He didn't go beyond that. Then I started praying to God. You know, this is not your design, what you have designed for me in ministry, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the area of finance. Mm -hmm. What should I do? What should I do? Tell me what to do. Help me. God didn't speak. General, February last year, God sent a prophet to our church. And when he was ministering, he said, Prophet Moses, God said to tell you that he has raised some financial pillars that will support your ministry. They are out there. Amen. They are just waiting Amen. for you. Amen. And that same 2010, I traveled to Ireland to minister with my family. After the administration, I met with a pastor, meeting me for the very first time. He said to me again, God said he have raised some financial pillars for you out there. Mm. I said, oh, financial pillars? Yeah, that same last year, I came here again. Another pastor in UK here said the same thing. I said, God, what is going on? Speak to me. Yeah, I didn't hear a word from him since then. 2009, 2010. Wow. Until on the 17th of this month, just last week, <laughs> when the Lord said to me, he said, son, do you know the reason why you have been struggling in the area of finance in ministry? I said, Daddy, I don't know. You tell me. He said, because you have been hindering the blessing of my people. Mm. You have been standing between their blessing and them. Mm. You have not allowed them to assess the blessing that I've created, prepared for them. I became confused. Mm. I've been praying for people for success, so how am I hindering the blessing? He said, you know what? Whenever I give you assignments, there are people out there that I have set aside to be blessed through and by that assignment. Amen. I said, how? Amen. When they support that assignment, 
I will bless them. Hmm. He said to me, have you forgotten one of the covenant I made with you? The covenant of success. Hmm. Now, I now remember when the man of God here said to me, you carry the anointing to make wealth. Wow. And not just for me alone, for people as well. Amen. Then I saw them. I started to meditate on that word. People out there to connect, they receive the blessing. Then I remember that I then began to remember the people that have supported my ministry, what God have done in their life. Mm. Listen, mm. two months ago, no, three months ago in June, I was invited. No, God sent me to France to pray for a businessman. This is a businessman who is into technology. Hmm. This airplane that you fly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some of the corporate, yeah. some of the, how do I call it, the antennas that they use, mm -hmm, the technologies, mm -hmm. his company manufactured those things. Wow. Airspace, some of the, how that technology they use, his company manufactured it. He was having a problem. Hmm. What happened? We started praying and the Lord said, I must go, travel to France to meet him, pray in his house and his business. I went. I was there for three days. Then, when I was coming, he sowed a seed into my life. Though he was not having them, mm -hmm. it was not that mm -hmm. it was so difficult for him. He sowed the seed. Wow. Guess what? Two Sundays ago, early in the morning, I was preparing for church. My phone rang. He told me, my company have just won a contract of two, you know, six million euro. Hallelujah. And out of that Hallelujah. six million euro, two million euro is my own profit. Praise God. This is a man whose everything they were tight up for him. Tight, 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 tight up for him. Wow. Tight up for him. I said, okay, 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 mm. okay. Mm. I've seen people in our ministry mm. who came to church mm. broke nothing. By supporting the ministry, by supporting the ministry, I've seen great and mighty things that the Lord have done in their life. Amen. Great. Amen. So I said, okay, now, now I know the reason why the Lord said to me that because, listen, I'm not a prophet money. I'm not a money prophet. When it comes to money, those that know me know me. I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But because I've not been talking about it, and God has been giving me some great vision, the great assignment. So it is when I speak about it that they will want to give towards it. That's right. That's and when right. they give towards it, God will move mightily. Mm. As you are watching this telecast, I would like to encourage you. I would like to, no matter what you are going through, your, is it your area of marriage, your business, your children have left home, even your ministry. I encourage you to connect with this great anointing. I encourage you, connect with this great anointing and then you will watch what the Lord will do in your life. If I truly be a prophet of God and if what I'm saying is truly from God, listen, the Bible says, woe unto the prophet mm. that speak when God does not send him to speak. Mm -hmm. I will never say, thus says the Lord when God, when, when, when God doesn't speak. So I'm saying exactly what the Lord has said. I encourage you, connect with this ministry. And to find out how to connect with this ministry, I would like you to contact the details, our contact details on the screen right now. Contact us to find out how you can support this ministry. Listen, this ministry, we don't only preach the word. We also help the widows. We help the orphans and the needies. And when you do this, you will watch and see what the Lord will do in your life. I'm giving you the opportunity to try the God who has called me. I believe that when you do it, he that called me will surely meet you at the point of your need in the name of Jesus Christ. That's your dead business. We come back again. Amen. Listen, I've seen in our ministry whereby the women, their husband will leave them. Mm. After, of course, after prayer, the husband will come back. Hallelujah. That's what I call restoration. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. I pray for you as you're watching me now. Everything that belongs to you, whatever that belongs to you, that has been taken away from you, I command those things to come back to you right now in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen, Amen. the Bible said that the children that the Lord gave you, they are for signs and wonders. Amen. Amen. The children are not meant to be carrying guns and knives. Amen. They are not meant Amen. to become ba vagabonds. Amen. Because it is the Amen. desire Amen. of the Jesus. parents to enjoy the fruit of the labor on mm -hmm. the children. Mm -hmm. So I pray for you today. Your children have left home. Don't worry. God is working out 
your miracle for you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They will come back to you and they will Amen. become useful Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. And for those of you who are sick, I pray for the healing power of God to hit you wherever you are right now and bring that healing to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are not born to be a problem carrier. Amen. No way. You yeah, are born hallelujah. to succeed in life and you must surely succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You were born to arise and shine. Mm -hmm. This is your time. You must rise and shine Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, the Bible said, I go to David. He said, before I was young, mm -hmm. now I am old. Yes. I have never seen the yes. righteous forsaken. No. Have I seen? The seed beg for bread. Amen. Your seed Amen. will never beg for bread. Amen. You will never Amen. be forsaken Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any challenge that you are, you are that is facing you right now, that you are facing, mm -hmm. that you want to disgrace you, God will disgrace those challenges in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. God Amen. will Amen. lift you Amen. up and elevate you beyond and above those problems in Jesus' name. Amen. As the Lord picked me from grass hmm. to grace, hmm. pick me from the pits, and put me in the lamb light today that today God gave me word to give to prime minister, to president, uh -huh. to kings, to businessmen, to men in high places in ministry. <laughs> that same God will glorify you in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you connect with this ministry, you connect with this anointing of God upon my life. As God is promoting me, believe me, he also will promote you Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Viewers at home, be on the lookout for prophets Moses Ministry on TV. It is coming soon near your home. Amen. Be on the lookout. This is not the first and this will not be the last. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. 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 You are blessed. Bye. The prophet that prophesied a thing and it happened the next day. The prophet, who many people around the world are testifying of prophetic anointing upon his life. The prophet that miracles, signs and wonders are following his ministration. Prophet Austin Moses of Divine Ministries International Solution Center coldly invites you to come and be part of the new thing that God is doing in the north of London. Your time has come, so come and experience the power of God in Divine Ministries International Solution Center days and time of worship every Sunday from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Church address, the Green Primary School Hall, Somerset Road, Tottenham, London N17, 9EJ, not far from Tottenham Police Station. Information online, plus 44-7415-696-042. That's plus 44-7415-696-042. Visit our website at www.divineministriesinternational.org for all the latest information, books, DVDs, CDs, and all other Christian literatures. Your time has come, so come and experience the power of God in Divine Ministries International Solution Center.